All right, so I made some changes since last time. Uh, most obvious is I've really cleaned up the computer. All these wires are now bundled nicely and tied together so that they're not flailing all over the place. It makes it really easy to follow where Dad is going. So here's our inputs, which were over there before we moved them back here, so it's easier to get to. So our inputs both feed to our ALU over there. When our ALU is done, it shows the result here, which feeds it to the binary coded decimal, and it feeds the binary coded decimal to our decoder, which displays there. So, a lot easier to follow, nice and clean, and also it makes uh, moving the individual components around much easier because I can just take it apart into the ALU, the decoder, and the BCD circuit, separate them nice and easy. It really uh, makes my life easier. Um, then on top of that, the BCD circuit now operates as it should. Last time it wasn't adding 6 when it got to 24 for some reason. I had a logic error. Fixed that, cleaned it up, all good. And then we've also added, or I've also added a reset button here so we can reset everything. It's nice when sometimes I get some weird latching behavior. Um, haven't figured out why, or I, I figured out where it's happening. I haven't figured out why it's happening, but we'll get to that next time. And then prototyped our program counter right here. Ran out of transistors, so I'm using two uh, flip-flop integrated circuits. But as soon as more transistors come, go ahead and replace uh, that IC with some transistors.